Hello everyone, this is Dr. Karima Sachiteva, one of the mentors of study MRCOG and today's wisdom short is on the distension media which are used in hysteroscopy. So for outpatient hysteroscopy, the two important distension media which are used are carbon dioxide and normal saline. Normal saline is better than carbon dioxide in terms that it decreases the vasovator episodes, it improves the image quality, the procedure is quicker. However, in terms of reducing pain, neither of these is superior. For operative outpatient hysteroscopy using bipolar electrosurgery, normal saline is safe and it acts as both distension and conducting media. Also, for operative hysteroscopy, the uh, distension media, they can be divided into uh, isotonic, hypotonic and hypertonic. Hypertonic distension media like dextran. So the advantage of using that hypertonic distension media is that they are immiscible in blood. So image clarity is much more. But on the other hand, there is a risk of anaphylaxis with these. On the other hand, with hypotonic and isotonic, if we compare the two, isotonic uh, solutions like normal saline are much safer than hypotonic uh, distension media because uh, hypotonic distension media, they can cause fluid overload resulting in encephalopathy. So examples of hypotonic distension media, one of the one, uh, one of these which is commonly used is 1.5% glycine. It is particularly used when we are using electrosurgery. So while using glycine, it is very important to manage the fluid deficit. So first, strict input-output reading should be recorded. And if you feel that there is a deficit of 500 ml, then you should make sure that the anesthetist is aware of the deficit. Once the deficit reaches 100 ml, the procedure should be completed as quickly as possible and you should consider placing Foley's catheter in the bladder for accurate monitoring of the output. Consider fluid resuscitation. Consider IV diuretic like tyrosamide administration. Once the fluid uh, deficit, it increases to 1500 ml, the procedure should be discontinued. Electrolyte abnormality should be measured and managed. You should observe the patient for the signs of fluid overload and encephalopathy, seizure activity, pulmonary edema and tachypnea and admit the patient for observation and management of the complications. So that was all about the distension media. Thank you so much.